Hey there, Cubers! This is David, and I'm back with our next installment of the Cubes underscore Art YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about commutators. This is the first video in what I expect will be a series of videos about commutators because they're especially useful when cubing. A commutator is a sequence of moves with the structure A, B, A inverse, B inverse. So let's take a look at a few algorithms that have this structure and see how they might be useful in putting designs on cubes or just solving the cube. The first algorithm I'll talk about is the three color center permutation or the dots algorithm for short. The dots algorithm is E, M, E prime, M prime. So you can see that this is switched the red, white, and blue dots and the orange, green, and yellow dots. The red center has now moved to the center of the blue face, which has moved to the white face and to the red face. And on the reverse side, orange has gone to green, green to yellow, and yellow to orange. You'll notice that although the red, white, and blue pieces have cycled in a counterclockwise direction, the orange, green, and yellow pieces cycled in a clockwise direction. If you repeat this algorithm, it cycles the dots again, and repeating it a third time brings the dots back to their original faces. So we say this algorithm has order three. So this is one way to undo the commutator, but let's look at another way. So it turns out if you perform a commutator, you can undo it by performing a different commutator that uses the same first two moves, but in reverse order. So with this algorithm, E, M, E prime, M prime, if you do M, E, M prime, E prime, this will undo the first commutator. Let's see why. So here I've written a commutator and a second commutator of the structure I described before. So we have A, B, A inverse, B inverse, and B, A, B inverse, A inverse. If we put them next to each other and think about these eight moves in sequence, we can see that the two middle moves, the B prime and B, will undo each other. And so then we consider the next two moves, A prime and A, they undo each other, B and B prime, and finally A and A prime. So we see that these two commutators actually cancel each other out. So let's see it in action. This is the same sequence of moves I showed before. E, M, E prime, M prime. And notice how each of those moves gets undone in reverse order. M, E, M prime, E prime undoes the first commutator. The next algorithm I discuss permutes two pairs of centers that are opposite each other. The moves for this algorithm are E, M2, E prime, and M2. You can see that the red and orange centers have switched with each other, and the blue and green centers have switched with each other, but the white and yellow faces stay the same. In order to undo this, just repeat the same algorithm again. That means this algorithm has order two. The next algorithm I'll talk about permutes three edge pieces along the equator layer. So to do this algorithm, do E, R2, E prime, and then R2 again. So this is a commutator because R2 undoes itself. That means R2 is the same as R2 inverse. So remember that we can undo a commutator by taking the first two moves, reversing the order, and building a commutator out of that. Let's see that in action with this algorithm. So you do R2, E, R2 again, and E prime, and that undoes the original commutator. So let's take a look at the original algorithm again. Remember it's E, R2, E prime, R2. And notice that it sent the orange and blue edge piece to the red and blue side, it sent the red and blue edge piece back to the orange and green, and the orange and green to the orange and blue. So if we repeat this algorithm again, it cycles those three edge pieces one more time. And finally, a third time returns the three edge pieces to their original positions. That means this algorithm has order three. So next I'd like to talk about a type of commutator that a colleague, Amanda Maluski, and I have dubbed the complex commutator. So a complex commutator has the commutator structure of A, B, A inverse, B inverse, 
except the element b is itself a sub algorithm it's its own sequence of elements so if we think of b as the sequence efg then b prime would be g prime f prime e prime that means the b prime part of the commutator is itself also a sub algorithm so returning to the original structure we substitute efg and the inverse of EFG in for B and B prime. So as before, let's see this principle in action. So the next algorithm I describe is going to permute three edges again, but first I'll describe the sub algorithm. So the sub algorithm for this commutator is F prime U2 F. And if you notice, it just switches those three pieces on the front right edge and the back upper edge. And if we repeat it, it fixes itself. So that means it has order two. Now let's put that sub algorithm into a commutator. Begin by sliding the equator layer, then apply the sub algorithm and undo the equator E prime and apply the sub algorithm again. And we can see that three edge pieces have permuted with each other. The red and blue piece went to the orange and blue side. Orange and blue went to the upper back, and green and white went to red and blue. So notice that the blue and orange edge piece has moved to the upper back position, and the blue is on the back, and orange is on top. Similarly, the green and white piece has moved to where green is on the left and white is on the front. As with other commutators, you can undo a complex commutator by performing the second part first, then the first part, and building a commutator out of that. So here I've undone this algorithm. Next I'll talk about a similar edge permutation that moves the same three pieces but in a slightly different way. So here's the sub algorithm for this version of the edge permuting algorithm, R U R prime. And to undo the sub algorithm we do R U prime R prime. Now let's compare this to the previous sub algorithm which put the green and white edge piece in the front right position with green on front and white on the right. This new sub algorithm puts the same piece in the same position, except the green sticker is on the right side now and white is on the front. Now let's put this sub algorithm into the commutator structure. So again, the first move will be E, then we apply the sub algorithm, undo E, and undo the sub algorithm. Now notice that the three pieces have permuted just like before. The red and blue stickers are in the same position, but the orange and blue stickers have flipped from their previous orientation. And similarly, the green and white stickers are different from how they were before. They're flipped. So this algorithm has permuted the same three edge pieces as before, except there's one parity flip between the orange and blue piece and the green and white piece. As before, to undo this algorithm, I'll first do the sub algorithm, then the equator, undo the sub algorithm and undo the equator and this solves the cube back. So that concludes the first part in my anticipated series on commutators. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions feel free to comment below. I'll try to answer whatever I can. If I don't answer in the comments then maybe I can incorporate some of your questions into future videos. There are a lot more commutators I want to introduce so I'll try to have those videos up soon. Until then, happy cubing!